balls made out of. Aluminum. Yours? Steel. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. So today we're continuing with our Home Defense 24 series and as many of you rightly enough suggested or requested, um, we'll finally be comparing these super heavy 50 caliber steel balls or chrome steel balls with these ultra light 50 caliber aluminum balls, both by Home Defense 24. How much will their weight difference influence the impact on our targets? And will the material difference make a damage difference? So as always, we'll be shooting a whole variety of targets, both soft and hard surfaced. And uh, we'll start off with, uh, with a chrono test. We'll be calculating the speed of the projectiles in FPS, feet per second, and ultimately we'll calculate the joules power. As always, uh, I will be changing CO2 cartridge before every test. I'm using these uh, Umarex uh, CO2 cartridges for now. Uh, these have, they were quite expensive in, in the United States. The price significantly came down, so I've been buying these uh, as of late, given that I do shoot Umarex guns. So you'd think that these would be the perfect fit for the Umarex guns. All right, let's get on with our chrono test. We'll start with our chrome steel balls. They are very, very heavy indeed. They weigh eight grams. And of course, today we'll be using our HDR50 or TR50. This is the 11 joules version, which I got from Modern Combat Sports, which is one of the leading shops in the United States for less lethal uh, paintball markers, T4E and whatnot. And let's get shooting. All right, so our eight gram steel balls flew uh, at a velocity of about right under 200 feet per second, around 190, 170. So the balls obviously did penetrate. I had to use this uh, three liter water jug because I ran out of the two and a half gallon ones. Um, however, it doesn't seem like there's been any complete penetration. All right, definitely much higher speeds with our lightweight aluminum balls. We have a very similar entry, entry damage, but no exit. All right, folks, let's see how these balls do with some drywall. I found these two pieces of drywall laying in my neighborhood the other day so I obviously picked them up to shoot them up um, as you see I did put uh, two in case it does go through the first layer let's see if it also goes through the second or not
Well, well, quite surprisingly, two balls didn't even go through. These did go through indeed, but just a little dent on the second piece of drywall, but nothing, as you saw, went all the way through. Wow, and again, one got stuck. These went through. I knew I should have put a camera actually in between these two, anyway. Well, these, as you saw, I shot too high and obviously they hit this piece of wall, but nothing crossed over. Interesting. All right, folks, before switching to our hard surface test, I wanna try one last soft uh, surface test uh, with these, uh, what is it, one pound or two pound uh, bag of flour. It is a very, very bad quality, cheap type of flour, so I don't feel too guilty in uh, wasting it. Um, again, I'm going to compact it quite well, and let's see if we'll have a complete penetration. After knocking it down a few times, I had to put this brick right here. Seems like we have a nice hole. Nice. I know they penetrated because I heard them bouncing off of there. So definitely a great penetration with a lot of energy. And up next, oh yeah, did you guys remember to subscribe? And while you're at it, hit that like button, will ya? All right, so, we definitely entered the coconut and did some damage. Let's compare it to this coconut and the steel balls. All right, let's check out our steel balls versus the coconut. Hmm. This is the hard part, obviously, the outer crust. This is definitely much softer. So in both cases, we broke the hard part. All right, folks, we are down to our final test, which happens to be the final hard surface test as well. Just a regular size can of SpaghettiOs. Uh, this in Italy is preposterous, 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 preposterous. So uh, I have absolutely no sense of guilt in shooting these because we do not even call this food in Italy, for example. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take out the paper part 
just so we have a better view of the damage hopefully it'll be on both sides of the cans and we will start with the aluminum and then switch to our steel balls and call it a day Que bonta, signori. Spaghettios a la Ergan Alley. Look at that. All right, so we actually opened the can. So that's good to know. If you ever uh, don't have a can opener, well, obviously you can open it that way, but should it be a normal can opener, you can just shoot it and look at that, it just opens. All right, uh, looks like the balls went in. I am not sure that they came out the other side. Um, let's see what the steel balls do. And here is our can with the steel balls. Let's compare it with the aluminum. There you go, aluminum, steel. All right guys, here we are at our final conclusion. As always, I'm very curious to know uh, what you guys thought of today's tests, what you guys think of the difference between these very lightweight uh, 50 caliber aluminum balls versus the much heavier uh, chrome steel balls. Uh, these are both made and sold by Home Defense 24. As you well know, Home Defense 24 is a leading uh, brand. It is a German brand uh, leading in ammo and accessories for the Umarex T4E series and more. Um, as always, I'll be putting all the links to the ammo, to the gun that I use in the description below. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, again, this is a, you know, it's a HDR50. It is an 11 joules version. So, you know, it is a bit of a limited gun, uh, especially if we look at the other T4E guns, the newer, uh, the newer generations. So, uh, in fact, next week I'll be shooting the 68 caliber version of the aluminum balls and the steel balls uh, with my HDR 68 which uh, has been modified to higher, pow higher powers and I do expect uh, greater damage uh, with the 68 caliber. Uh, I think I'll try to use the same type of uh, targets just so we can compare uh, the, 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 the two 50 caliber um, balls versus the 268 caliber balls. Uh, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And please do click that like button. It does help me out a lot if you do, as the video gets shared more. Uh, obviously, every time you do, click the like button. And I will see you guys next week.